Hey, Tom here from Aquabatics. Thanks so much for checking out our video. Today we're going to be looking at all the gear associated with recreational paddling. It can be pretty confusing when you're starting off, so what we're going to do is break this down into three categories. We've got needs, the things you really want to pick up when you're first getting into paddling. The wants are the things that are going to make your overall paddling just that much more enjoyable. And then the luxuries, which are things that you may want to pick up down the line as you progress along with your paddling. So the first thing we need to look at are the boats. Generally a recreational boat will range from about 9 feet in length up to 13 feet. Generally the 9 foot or shorter boats are going to be more maneuverable and potentially even more stable as they tend to be a bit wider. As we get into the longer length boats, they do become narrower, which is going to mean that it's faster and tracks in a straight line better. So the second thing we're going to need is one of these, a paddle. They come in all different material types, lengths, shapes, and sizes. Check out this link for a really detailed breakdown to find the perfect paddle for you. Just like a paddle, a life jacket, or PFD, is a requirement for all watercraft users. As recreational paddlers, you can find PFDs in all different shapes and sizes depending on your body type and the type of boat you're paddling. Generally, recreational kayakers will be looking at two types of PFD. A standard construction PFD evenly distributes the foam around the body for a very comfortable fit. However, it might not be ideal for all seat types. A mesh back PFD removes the foam from the lower back. This gives you a more comfortable fit in a boat that has a high back seat. So there's one other requirement that we do need to carry with us out on the water. Generally, this is our safety kit. Safety kit is broken down into three parts. Typically some form of bailing device, 50 feet of floating line, and a form of signaling device. Generally we like to use a P-less whistle. When you're picking up your first recreational kayak, you might want to think about a spray skirt. Spray skirts are intended to keep you warm and dry throughout the day. Recreational paddlers will generally look at two types of spray skirt. A full neoprene spray skirt is going to be your warmest and driest option. However, it does come in at a bit of a higher price tag. As an alternative, you could look at a full nylon skirt. These will still be a really good option for keeping you dry and are a little bit easier to use as well. As a recreational paddler, you might already have all the outerwear you need. Wearing a simple rain jacket is fine. However, there is paddling specific outerwear that will help keep you dry and be more ergonomic. A paddling specific jacket is cut in a way that it's not going to be interfering with you at all when you're taking a paddle stroke. It also has some features such as hook and loop closures on both the wrists and across the bottom where your skirt would be to again help you stay drier throughout the course of a day. Another bit of gear that you might want to think about picking up is base layers. An insulating base layer tends to be something like neoprene, polypropylene, or natural fibers like wool. These are great options that still keep you warm, even if they get wet. As you start paddling in bigger open water, a paddle float might become one of the vital pieces of equipment you take with you. A paddle float is used to help get someone back inside their boat after it's capsized. A dedicated tow tether is something that you might also consider. Having something attached to your PFD or your kayak that's quick and easy to access is going to help you be a little bit more hands-free and a bit more efficient in the event of needing to tow somebody or any other type of rescue scenario. On windy days, Picking up something like a paddle leash might be really good as well. This is going to make sure that the paddle doesn't float away. It can also be really nice on a calm day when you're reaching for your camera. The more you paddle, the more you're going to end up in areas where there's no cell phone coverage. 
Having some way of communicating with others is becoming really vital. Two-way communication radios, or even more importantly, things such as spots or inreaches, are great ways of ensuring that you've got a backup plan if things go wrong. While your kayak's hatch is great for storing gear, it tends not to always be perfectly dry. If you want to make sure your gear is dry, you probably want to pick up a dry bag. They have all sorts of different shapes and sizes, but generally a 10 to 20 liter dry bag is the best one to have. So there you have it. That's pretty much everything you need to know about getting into recreational paddling. We've covered all of the needs, some of the wants, and a few of the luxury items. There's certainly a ton more gear out there, and if you want to check it out, please visit us at aquabaticscalgary.com. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great educational videos and paddling tips. Happy paddling!